So first up, let's go straight to Manesar, which is where Maruti has its second big manufacturing facility. I say second because the third one in Gujarat has also opened its doors now and it gives Maruti a lot more muscle to flex. But Manesar remains under pressure because a lot of the popular volumes driven models really drive out of Manesar. And uh, when it comes to the desire, well, large volumes is just part of the territory. It is Maruti's second highest selling model of uh, its entire range. And uh, the new desire, lots of expectations from it, which means the plant is under huge pressure. Take a look at what's happening inside that manufacturing plant. That Maruti Suzuki is India's largest car maker is a point that really drives home when you step into its manufacturing. The company has three plants. The oldest is in Gurgaon. It has had the Manesar plant since 2007 and just this year its Gujarat plant has also begun operations. Today we are inside the Manesar plant for an exclusive look at the production of the company's second highest selling car model, the Desire Subcompact Sedan and this is the hotly anticipated new generation that launches next week. So the plant here has been updated to accommodate the new model and that new platform. The material used is also a little bit different because unlike the last Desire which used 20% high tensile steel, the new one has 36% overall. Why? Well, of course it makes the car structure more rigid and also lighter. How many are made every day? Well, in the region of about 650. That's the kind of average here at Plant A, which is uh, one of the three units that produces different models inside Manesar. So that's a lot of new desires heading into the market. Remember, it's no longer called the Swift Desire. It's just Desire now. Plant A also makes about 300 units of the Sias and so has a total output close to a thousand cars a day. The Manesar site houses three plants in all. Plants B and C make the Swift, Baleno, Celerio and Alter family and total production at the Manesar plant is 3,000 cars per day. So that's the new headlamp cluster on the new Desire and it's one of the sort of distinct styling elements and you can tell that that's one of the higher variants because it's got a little more detail going on as compared to say this one which uh, well still looks nice but you can see it doesn't have any of the darker elements it's a little bit simpler in its design and um, it's a nice little characteristic that you're picking up on the new car the tail light is again something that's going to be a very distinct signature because it's an led tail light So that's one of the new colors. There are six colors on offer on the new Desire. Three of them are new. The Oxford blue. That's the new red and there's a new brown as well. I hope to catch it somewhere on the line. So that is the top end version of the new Desire. It's got the LED lights as you can see. And right here I have a base version which doesn't have them but the new color. I've been wanting to show that to you. Uh, we've got the red that we've showed you. There is the new Sherwood brown as they call it and you can see that it's a sort of a lighter brown it's very different and we've certainly not had a color like this from maruti in the past and it's different also to uh, the brown that you've had on the cias in the past as well so it is not the same color that's been repeated it's something new the new colors will certainly get a lot of attention and maruti reckons it will get good volumes in them now maruti is going to continue to make the previous generation for the taxi segment and so which is why this one is for individual buyers and it's the first time that we'll have multiple variants on the Desire. Yes, we will have the AMT on both petrol and diesel and then of course you've got uh, st safety becoming standard as well which is great news for us. It includes a new platform that's also crash worthy remember a big story coming out of Maruti Suzuki and it's going to be not just this car but all future models that will adopt something similar. The new Desire will no doubt take the market by storm and despite the hectic pace of production we have seen today, we're pretty sure there will be a massive waiting period on this car over the next one year, at least.